Ex-prisoners. How does your experience in prison compare to how it is portrayed in the movies? My stay was several months in jail, not prison, but what I found really amusing was that the biggest, baddest dude on my cell block ran a D&D game twice a week. I would have loved to have D&D in jail, played a lot of spades and risk though. Also the first day I got moved to higher security I was at the TV table watching the breakfast club and 16 candles with a bunch of felons, was hilarious to me. A friend of mine went to prison and he told me about his experience. Apparently the biggest feeling he got was being bored, there's very little to do there, so he ended up working out a ton and actually got a certificate for computer repair, I guess they had some kind of opportunity for education, this is in Canada, and he said that there was a pretty big racial divide, there were white people, black people and aboriginal people, the black people and aboriginal people got along pretty well, but the white people segregated themselves quite a bit. I reckon it's different depending on the jail itself. Another thing he mentioned was the noise. After he got out, he didn't really listen to music, and always wanted to just chill. We played a lot of chess, and sat quietly for the first few weeks. He said that there was so much yelling and nonsense in jail and you don't really get to escape that. He is a pretty big guy, and apparently he got in one fight. He said that he didn't start it, but explained that if he had not fought then he would have been constantly harassed until he did, so he conceded, and beat the crap out of the guy who started it. He didn't get caught, and nobody bothered him after that. When he got out, he told me repeatedly that he would do anything to not go back, and that if he ever went back, he would likely kill himself. Unfortunately he has FASD, and started doing drugs again, got caught DUI, with drugs intended to sell. He's back there now, and I have no idea how to get in touch with him. It's been a few years now and frankly I'm scared to know. He said that there was so much yelling and nonsense in jail and you don't really get to escape that. That would be the worst bit of it for me. I'd probably get depressed, maybe worse. I need some quiet time. Media gets a lot of procedural aspects of it right, but the atmosphere is decidedly less tense than Hollywood would have you believe. On Christmas morning one year I recall casually walking in the prison yard drinking a mocha and smoking a black and mild cigar. For example, conducting myself largely as I would at any holiday resort with medium security. I saw a dude stabbed to death over a lengthy phone call, but I also saw a bona fide prison wedding that was surreal beyond anything I've seen on film. Mostly though, it's boring as frick and a complete waste of time, money, and human potential. That part of it tends not to jump off the screen, so it's often omitted in artistic works. My brother is currently in prison. He did have one run-in with a gang that made him have one of his family members send money or they would hurt him, but other than that he has been doing well. Got a state certificate for carpentry and HVAC. Also has taken some college courses. It seems that he has been pretty well rehabilitated. He also said that he feels no shame anymore. He said he will probably come home and just crap with the door open with no fricks given. Couple days ago I discovered the after prison show. A guy does YouTube and tells stories from when he was locked up. 7 years or so. It's brilliant. I started watching him a couple weeks ago. Really interesting stories. Kinda childish or treated humor. But interesting nonetheless. I already commented briefly but would like to expand. I spent 3 years in the federal prison system in the United States as a 20 years old. White. College educated female with no prior history with law enforcement. Though my crime was drug related and non-violent. It was technically classified as a violent crime. So I was placed in a medium security facility where I was exposed to far more high level drug dealers, murderers, and terrorists. As a pre-trial federal inmate I also spent over a year at various New England county jails, so I got a pretty broad survey of the system in both the northeast and the deep south. I got to fly con air a few times as well. The thing that affected me most deeply was what I learned about people. While many of the inmates were people society had basically dismissed as human garbage, I would say 90% were good people who were placed in poor circumstances and made poor choices. I believe in personal responsibility. However I gained a great deal of compassion for the women I ended up knowing who had been thrown away for years, their kids growing up without them, 
because they got involved with drugs or a bad boyfriend. Most of them had experienced a lot of trauma in their lives and just didn't have the resources to cope in a more pro-social way. Though women are often catty, in general people respected and supported each other. I very rarely felt unsafe, even as the anomaly that I was. I stood up for myself but in one instance where I was being harassed and threatened, the old heads in my unit, long term respected inmates, intervened on my behalf without my asking. My first night in prison I was terrified until a bunch of people came to ask me if I needed anything, a snack, some sweats to borrow, hygiene products. The worst people in many cases were the guards. Most were just people trying to do their jobs, but for many an environment of complete power with limited, if any, oversight, brought out some seriously sadistic behavior. The actions I saw and experienced from correctional staff will stay with me forever. Imagine a situation where you can be strip searched because the officer feels like it. They make you spread your butt cheeks and squat for them. I saw them get bored and harass a mentally challenged woman until she reacted so that they could strip her, pepper spray her, and beat her, because they were bored. I could go on for a while. But in general prison is a microcosm of the world, and I saw the best and worst of human nature in my time there. It's nothing like people think. Sounds like an episode of OITNB. Boring boring boring. Every day just like the last. There were fights, but they weren't what you see in 3 movies. Don't disrespect people inside and you won't get beaten up outside. I've seen more than 3. I was in minimum security federal prison. I was convicted of possession with intent to distribute methamphetamine. It went federal because we crossed some state lines and had imported a ridiculous amount of M into the state. It was my fiance that was selling. I only got charged because I went to one controlled by with him. They had nothing else on me. Prison was far less scary than everyone tells you. The worst part is the petty bulls. It's juvenile arguments and things that would never matter on the outside are a big deal inside. The best example I have is I almost got into a fist fight over a dryer. The bee kept opening it to see if my clothes were dry. They weren't and it was taking longer because she kept opening it. It's that kind of crap that gets sold. The weirdest thing to me was that almost all of the women had prison moms. It was an older woman that would look out for their daughter. My bunkmate was 50 and had a mom that was 65. I was 19 and didn't have one, which was mind blowing for some of the other women. I didn't need anyone while I was there. I was on my own and that's how it stayed. I had a few friends but for the most part I kept to myself. The guards were mostly men so that caused problems. There were a bunch of guards getting favors from the girls. Not really surprising I guess. It always seemed to be consensual and usually a tit for tat kind of arrangement. We did have one person come into the prison that was physically female. But he identified as a man. He had incredibly small tea and I am almost certain he'd started hormone treatments. The girls fought over him. There was a bunch of gay for the stay going on. I never participated. Because frankly, no one there was my type. I'm B so it wouldn't have been a big deal. But I also went in there with the mindset of doing my time and never looking back. My daughter was 4 months old when I left her at the front gates with my parents. I was not going to get attached to someone inside and have that kind of heartbreak when I got out. I was solely focused on getting out, staying clean, and making a better life for her. I've been sober for 12 years now. Feel free to ask any questions. I'll answer pretty much anything. Congrats on your sobriety. That's an amazing achievement. Here in Brazil we are currently experiencing a big crisis in the prisonal system. There are riots happening in prisons across the country every day. Rival groups inside the prisons have declared war against each other and there's been hundreds of deaths already, mostly by decapitation. Lots of prisoners have escaped as well. It's been heck. The prisonal system in Brazil is really fricked up. All prisons are hugely overcrowded. The cells are in the worst condition possible. People are just thrown there, like garbage. Just yesterday I saw on the news, a prison where there's no prison bars in the cells for quite some time now. It reminds me of that Sona from Prison Break. And the majority of the population couldn't care less, and actually wish these people were gone. When I read in this post that being in some prisons in the US is just boring, I think I was actually, in a way, happy for you. It's really sad. 
I was in a minimum restricted prison and it was not bad at all. It was two levels above the lowest security. Nothing I imagine like the maximum. I mean we had our own rooms with doors we had keys to. Private showers and toilets. Could order tea versus etc. There were fights occasionally but they weren't bad. Imagine a dorm with a lot of older. Mostly undesirable. Mostly uneducated men with big egos and a curfew. The prison I was at had a medium and maximum prison on the same grounds and it kept everyone in line pretty much. People were scared to go to the high side. Experience Sterling Correctional Facility. Sterling, Colorado. 2015 to 2016. Colorado, where even the prisons are chill as frick. I spent 6 months in a UK prison. I learned French and computer programming. Got a job in the prison canteen and smoked pot every single day. None of it mine. There was so much available. The difference between the US and Commonwealth justice system. Spent 48 hours in an Alabama jail. There was a clear hierarchy. Big tough black dude jumped everyone in the shower line. Controlled the single TV. Etc. It gave my allotted cigarette to said black man. Because I don't smoke. Not because I'm a bee. I'm also a bee. So he never bothered me but he harassed the other new guys constantly. He made them make his bed and balls like that. There was an 18 year there who looked like he was 12. Another inmate stole his property. Mostly snacks. And threw them in the showers when the kid went to retrieve them he was beating to a pulp. I honestly thought he died. A third inmate spoke up about the beating and was immediately confronted by a fourth and took a nice beating as well. Not too bad though. It was a stressful place. There was some silver lining of sorts. However, the guy who took a beating for speaking up about the kid in the showers was called over by the guy who beat him. He explained that he meant nothing by it and that he was sorry. He said that he was trying to teach him some prison etiquette and county to mind his own business so when he left, presumably to state prison, he would have an easier time. He had his arm around him almost like a father would. He even gave the guy his jelly packet. Huge deal. At breakfast the next morning as a kind gesture. In my short stay my impression was this. These were decent humans who were put in a stressful situation. They understood that they were all in it together and would help each other out. There was an odd sense of community. The guy who took a beating was called over by the guy who beat him. He even gave the guy his jelly packet as a kind gesture. Nothing kind about it. That's how you get inside someone's head. Classic brute force manipulation tactic. Went to juvie. Got to watch movies and the food was pretty good. Found out that rumors sometimes get smaller through word of mouth. And had sports outside every day. So it was kind of fun. Not me but what my older sister told me. She said if she cried her cellmates told her to stop so she wasn't marked weak by the other prisoners. That's oddly sweet. Friend told me about his time in county jail. I hope I never end up in one. Guys getting out of line and getting beat by an entire group of inmates happened a few times when he was there. Pressing the button to alert the guards would put you on the beatdown list. So one night after witnessing a brutal beatdown he listened to a guy struggle to breath while gurgling and choking on his own blood and occasionally calling for help and did nothing about it. Guys smarting off to the guards sometimes got taken to the barber shop. Hint it wasn't where people got haircuts and would return a half hour later bruised and bloodied. On at least one occasion he saw someone who hadn't done anything other than be too tall and confident looking grab the attention of a guard who ordered him on the ground and shouted for him to stop resisting. The dude spread eagle and said I'm not resisting but it was too late. He was taste and dragged out and returned a while later with the crap beat out of him. There were several people he met that were in jail on some petty charges originally who had been there for a couple years due to the fact that they acquired an assault while in jail. Sometimes this was due to essentially what most people might consider self-defense. But when two inmates fight if you manage to hurt the other guy, they still charge you. Then threaten a long sentence so you'll plead out rather than argue your side. Also guys taken to the barber shop who got a good swing at one of the officers would get a court date for an assault charge and get 6 months added to fire sentence. My friend was in for destruction of property and was terrified he would end up forced into a fight with another prisoner or get targeted by a guard and become one of these long term people. 
Did I mention that while trying to manage all this, he was off his meds for the first few weeks because the people in charge literally don't care about your mental illness and just think you are making excuses for yourself when you bring it up? He filled out a grievance form and the person he handed it to tossed it straight into the trash right in front of him and sarcastically asked now that you are done with that are you ready to go back to the cell and shut up? He survived by having a little money he could use in the commissary so he could buy stuff and would strategically give things to bigger guys and those in charge. They made sure people would leave him alone. He barely slept the whole time he was there and when he got out had clear signs of PTSD. Anything that surprised him would literally cause him to recoil for a second until he realized he wasn't about to get beat or need to beat somebody. He didn't mention any gay stuff. Mostly talked about the violence and constant fear. Then there was the heck of being on probation for 3 years. Just knowing there was a possibility that he could be sent back to that place terrorized him. US criminal justice system working as intended I guess. For me only jail not prison. But, one thing TV failed to capture is how freaking gross jail is. The smell of the place and some of the people there is something I've never experienced anywhere else. A high school locker room dirty laundry basket smells better after a football game than a jail. I grew up without a lot of money and ate some gross stuff. But the food in jail is an edible garbage. They give you a warm bologna sandwich and a bag of tang type liquid. That's a typical meal. Just seeing it on TV isn't giving you the full picture of being immersed in the filth. From the couple of times I was in county. Very short term. Just a couple of days until I was bailed out. It depends on where you are. When I was in on a misdemeanor charge. POM 2. It was easy going and very relaxed. All you do is sit around and talk to the other guys in there. Mostly for just stupid stuff. No one in there is who I would call a criminal however when I was in county for felony charges. Distribution of a controlled substance. I was moving like an ounce of weed a month to close friends so I wouldn't pay to smoke. I felt like many movies are close to spot on. Aside from the fact that there were many more people in there that were M heads. Probably like 1 stroke 5 inmates were currently on M and scared me. Overall it was just boring. Nothing happened when I was in there. However I heard from others that occasionally there were small events like people bowing up for a fight. Though not much ever came of it. Can't vouch for state. Big county was pretty much junkies. Burnouts and homeless. Only way you're gonna get picked on is if you're super annoying or act stuck up. COs are neither friends nor bullies. Just workers who begrudgingly do their jobs. You never see classes on TV and movies. AA anger management. Book groups. Group therapy for this and that. Classes on classes on classes. Not so much STEM factual. Hard learning. Marizo share your experiences type of crap. Interestingly, it's an extremely social environment. Which made me a much more outgoing person. Hard to explain. But you don't have a phone to stare at type on and you're all in jail. So you have something in common and it's something to get there. So you have something to talk about with everyone. As long as you act kinda miserable. Hold some level of empathy and don't say anything outright offensive. You can talk to anyone with an earshot about a whole bunch of nothing. My brother is serving 6 years because of drug trafficking. I visited him once and everyone is giving me a piece of paper with numbers in it. Begging me to call their relatives. Had to pay 1500 pesos dollar sign 34 initiation fee. So he won't get beat up inside. They also have a partner system or cabo I asked them there. The cell leader, what is cabo and he told me you can give your partner money to work for you. Do his laundry, run errands, was dishes, etc. In return you have to feed him and at least give him something. If you want to go inside the cell block you have to pay 150 pesos 3 dollars. The mayor have tons of rules cigarette is 4x the amount inside. My brother is also assigned for night watch duty. He need to stay awake all night to look for anything suspicious especially for inmates who are trying to kill inmates who are sleeping. Sometimes the mayor wakes up in the middle of the night to check my brother if he's doing his job. And if you fail doing your job they have a huge thick plastic whistling paddle minimum of 10 hits on the buttocks. Once you go inside, inmates are not allowed to stare at you. No touching or contact with other inmates etc. Prison is crazy they all look nice and welcoming but when I check those inmates profile 90% of them are murderers and rapists and I don't know why my brother is in that cell block. Way far compared to your typical prison movies. The worst thing about prison was the, was the Dementors. 
they were flying all over the place and they were scary and then they'd come down and they'd suck the soul out of your body and it hurt. Hey Prison Mike. Former federal prisoner here, released last year after serving a 3 year sentence in a low security prison and a minimum security aka prison camp. Federal prison is pretty much the world's worst boarding school. I was white collar so if it were filled with more people like me, college educated, functioning in life, it would have been more tolerable. The stupidity of fellow inmates and bureaucratic bureau of prison staff was draining and exhausting. I saw more fights in high school. Everyone loses themselves in something be it exercise, reading, whatever to attempt to stay sane. I was able to live well coming from a good background. In the feds you can spend $360 a month at commissary for food and toiletries. I always spent that and then some on other inmates accounts. I helped out guys who had little. The correctional officers, COs, are mostly cool. Most realize that the feds nail guys unnecessarily and even if guys were guilty of something the federal conspiracy case that got them incarcerated was probably BS. The worst part is just being removed from society and missing out on the people, places, and things you love most. I taught GED classes, adult continuing education classes, like financial management, and tried to make the most out of it. But to me it was still misery being away from family. Unfortunately, for most guys it's a step up in life as they received three hots and a cot. Without opening a can of worms on race issues, I was amazed at how black America viewed prison as a rite of passage. I was ashamed every day by my crime, hence, throwaway user it whereas for them it was something to be proud of, embrace, and just hanging out with their homies from their neighborhood. They didn't really lose any sleep being away from their kids and have nothing to look forward to upon release. There is nothing correctional about a federal correctional institution and I would swear my family's life that if 99% of the people were released early from federal lows and camps it would have no adverse effect on society at large. It's a complete waste of taxpayer money. I spent 3 years in a Texas prison and was only assaulted once and rarely shown disrespect. I was appalled to return to the real world and find out how disrespectful and cruel people were. I guess you have to be more civil when you're trapped with people that will occasionally kick your face and if you're a constant douche bundle. I'm not an inmate or directly affiliated with the prison system. Plus I'm late. But from what I'm seeing here my perspective is unique so maybe some will find it interesting. I work as a seasonal wildland firefighter for the Department of Natural Resources in a state that utilizes inmate work camps for labor. Up to 10 man crews led by a single supervisor, employed by the DNR, serve as forest crews, doing forestry maintenance, pre-commercial thinning, planting, etc. Additionally, when fire season rolls around the crews are utilized as hand crews for local and out of region fires within the state. Primarily, my experience with the inmates occurs on fires. I recently interviewed for a crew supervisor position, but unfortunately didn't get the job. In my experience, they are great to work with. You have to be somewhat cautious as they are always doing their best to trick you out of tobacco products, etc. But they're generally nice guys who love to bulls, run a chainsaw like it's a dang lightsaber, and will get more work done faster than nearly any other crew I've worked with. Their participation in the cruise is voluntary. They do get paid, but not much. 40-60 cents hour, and earn points that can contribute to earned privileges and even early release. Those allowed to work on the cruise live either in suite style dorms or open bunkhouse type accommodations. The camp they live in additionally runs fully functioning auto and welding shops as well as a small carpentry school for the inmates. They have a substantial greenhouse where they grow a good portion of the produce they consume and a small tilapia farm where they raise fish they get to eat on special occasions. Ultimately I guess the closest cinematic reference I can think of would be Cool Hand Luke. As the work they do on fire and forestry assignments is reminiscent of old school chain gang work. TV and movies never really follow the process beyond the dramatic arrest or silly, unreal TV trial. In the real world, 99% of trials take minimal time and you're gone and forgotten for years, or life. Prison life is bad enough as is. For me, it was the goddamn noise all the freaking time. Some freaking butthole is always making noise. I enjoyed visits from friends or family, but that was humiliating to be seen in that setting by them. Did my stretch, got out, and never got close since. 
you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.